Welcome back to On Point, Final Preps Edition. James, we had three championship series races last weekend. We'll close it out with the Arkansas Derby, and maybe the Lexington will have a say. Mm -hmm. uh, but going into this week, uh, what's the big storyline for you? Well, I, I thought it was an uh, exaggerator, really, bouncing back in the San Antonio Derby was the biggest of the three preps uh, coming out, biggest storyline. You know, Brody's cause as well, you know, bounce back. And uh, Al Work confirmed his status as, you know, a, a promising, you know, Derby type. But, yeah, exaggerator would be my biggest story. Yeah, I, w I would agree, uh, especially since he had finished behind Nyquist earlier in the year. And actually, my whole reason for picking Exaggerator in the San Felipe was that I was sort of playing that Nyquist form. Uh, didn't come through there, but it did this time around. And I made the joke on Saturday after the performances of Zulu and uh, maybe one other, but basically if you have finished behind Moeyman this year, uh, your your derby dreams are probably over, and mm -hmm. you actually were the first to point it out. Uh, horses behind him haven't done that well. Nyquist seems to be the form line we're all looking at now, though. Brody's cause, Exaggerator, we'll see what Swipe does in his three-year-old debut. Uh, so for me, uh, with Cupid sort of being the most up-and-comer of them all, uh, and he's in the Arkansas Derby this week. The big storyline for me last weekend was definitely how the Nyquist form seems to be holding up best. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Cupid has a chance. You know, he's Bob Bafford, five-time Derby winner, and he's coming off a nice win in the Rebel, which is his stakes debut. So if he can take another step forward, he can perhaps put he can put himself in that echelon of, like, top contenders. But right now, I mean, Nyquist is the clear leader of the pack. And, uh, you know, I don't know if uh, there's an overwhelming second choice behind him. No, I would agree. Uh, I think we'll see Exaggerator. Cupid, if he wins, will certainly take money. I think more spirit's still going to be in some conversations. And, you know, we're getting further and further away from the Twin Spires Louisiana Derby. Uh, but if you're a backer or a gunrunner, that's a good thing because he's sort of, you know, getting forgotten in all these races, Florida Derby, the three races last week. Uh, but to me... Uh, as much as I don't love the six weeks or tap it, to be honest, uh, you know, if he's drifting up to 8, 10, 12 to 1, he's absolutely a horse I'm going to have to use. Absolutely. I mean, I could see making a case for him. Just, I mean, I love the fact that after that race, he came back a week later and worked. Uh, you know, he just had his second work yesterday, and that's, you know, they're, they're talking three more works. I mean, five works, you know, that that's a horse that could be, you know, is showing signs that he's moving forward still. And, you know, he's a very dangerous uh, contender in my eyes. All right, well, Bristnet.com has uh, contender PPs up for the Derby itself as if it, this were the race, which it is for most of them other than the Arkansas Derby and Lexington horses. Uh, so we'll put a link to that in the description. And next week, uh, we'll really get in, in earnest talking about these horses with the Kentucky Derby absolutely on mind. There won't be any more races left. Uh, you'll join Vance later in the week for On Point with Arkansas Derby and Lexington selection, so we won't get any anything uh, like that from you now. But I will mention again, I'll be at Oaklawn. I'm really looking forward to it. Do you have any angles for me uh, down in Hot Springs? Well, you've got to get a corned beef sandwich at the <laughs> racetrack. Yeah, Absolutely. Been, Ed hasn't been to Oaklawn Park before. I know he's looking forward yeah. to it. And, uh, you know, yeah, looking forward to your comments. It'll be All a right. big day. Well, corned beef at the track and no meatloaf on the way. No meatloaf on the way, that's, yeah. That's I'm sure true. there's plenty of barbecue places on the way. Yeah, that's the hope <laughs> in Memphis. And I'll uh, be at the dog track Wednesday night. So uh, follow me on Twitter and Periscope that. I have fun doing that in Birmingham. So, yeah, it should be a great trip. Looking forward to seeing what you and Vance think of the race. I'll have full reports from Hot Springs, and we'll wrap it all up next week. All right. Have fun, Ed.